All right, let's see if you can fail a breathalyzer with non-alcoholic gin and tonic. This says 0.1% alcohol. So you would assume such a low alcohol concentration, it shouldn't register a reading on a breathalyzer, right? That's so minuscule, it should just evaporate the second it touches your tongue. Let's see what happens. First, just show you there's no alcohol in my system. Zero across the board. And now we will have some of this. This is supposed to be a gin and tonic. I don't know, it might be good. It's got that kind of piney flavor. So, so. Now you could drink these while driving. You can buy this at the grocery store. That's where I got it. I was picking up my Thanksgiving turkey and saw this and thought I'm gonna have to try it. And oh boy, we have a reading. It is a very small reading, but it is still a reading. So you can get a reading on a breathalyzer from a non-alcoholic drink. And of course, this reading would be additive to anything that you already have in your system. So if you're below the limit, this could be enough to put you just over the limit. So non-alcoholic drinks, don't consume them while you're driving.